Laura cleared me to drive. And that is awesome because I'm going absolutely stir crazy in our house. Notice my hair is looking awesome. So I actually drove a little bit this morning. I drove Rob to school and then I went into my office for a few minutes. But right now I'm going to pick Rob up from school. Kate apparently has a stomach flu. And Laura's gonna take her to the doctor. I have to get in this car like it's a race car. All right, so my knee surgery is done and I'm in an immobilizer, which means that I have to walk with crutches and I can't put any weight on this left leg. But what I found is that in this car, I can adjust the seat and there's like a place for my foot to rest that it's actually about as comfortable as it gets. So that is awesome. My surgery ended up being about four hours. It's funny, Laura's telling the story and like she said that the doctor before I went under said something like it'll be two or 150 minutes. So she's like watching the clock and that should have been had me out around noon after like the anesthesia and all that kind of stuff. And um, it was like 12, 12 31. And she talked to the nurse a bunch of times, the receptionist or whatever. And they're like, yeah, we don't know. He's still in the operating room. So it ended up being almost twice as long as they expected, but the surgeon said he was able to do everything that he needed to do. So they replaced my ACL, they replaced my PCL. Um, one of them they used patellar tendon and one of them they used cadaver, but I'm not sure which. And that's it. So Wednesday I was on a fair amount of drugs. Thursday I was on a fair amount of drugs. Friday I stopped taking a fair amount of drugs, but ended up becoming like massively in pain but I don't I haven't taken anything during the day since Saturday so on Thursday I go back and it's my first time seeing a physical therapist for this recovery which I'm nervous about because I'm sure it's gonna be a long painful journey and then I also see the surgeon so he can do whatever surgeons do post on overall the first three days of being immobile I was super down like I don't like asking for help or anything like that and all I had could do was ask for help to do anything I was just losing my mind I feel like I'm much less crabby right now and in better spirits especially since I like go into the office for a little bit and can actually do stuff and feel useful so if I was a to you since Wednesday I apologize and also uh, if you're one of the many people that I've told I would get something done for Gino D'Angelo, Sam Fulmont, anybody on my team. I promise I will do it. I was so like just delirious from all the different pain pills and stuff I was taking that I was completely useless the last few days, but I will uh, get all of the stuff done that I have told anybody watching this that I would do. I'm gonna start a Facebook page for this vlog and I wanna see if I can drive traffic through Facebook to YouTube. I wanna see if I can use some of the same stuff that I use on real estate marketing, on vlog marketing. So that'll be a fun project for me to work on this week. If you see an invite to like my Facebook me page, you should definitely do that. And I think I might build a website or something too. I really enjoy building that, doing that kind of stuff. So it's a balmy 10 degrees right now.